Today on CWN, welcome back Wildcats. And our softball team played over break. I'm Maddie. And I'm William. And today is Monday, March 18th, 2024. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Pledge to Texas Flag. The Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Our theater class has advanced in one act and one act play. We spoke to Mr. Jones to see what the future holds. Hey, Cats, I'm Em, and I'm here with Mr. Jones. So, Mr. Jones, y'all's one act advanced to by district. Can you tell me more about that, please? Yeah, so basically over spring break, we went to the district competition. Um, every school rehearses. They get an hour to rehearse and, like, official, you know, set the stage, see how it's going to be, and then we start the performances. Um, after that, the judges do critiques and stuff, so we got our feedback, kind of how we can build and get better for next round. And then the award ceremony happened, and we found out we're one of the schools advancing to buy district. So very exciting. We also brought home seven individual awards, one of those being a tech award, um, all-star tech um, crew for Kayla Norval. And then we had four honorable mention all-star cast for Waylon Johnson, Daniel Tierney, Alex Rodriguez, and Peyton McWhorter. And then we had two all-star casts with Grant Sikora and Callan Garcia. So really excited for those guys getting an individual award, getting to go up on stage, um, just killing it out there. So uh, by district is in Zapata on March 28th and we'll see how that goes. Well, that's really cool. Good luck to y'all and back to the studio. Continuing Texas Public School Week, we spoke to Dr. Hodgkiss to see what inspired her to teach. Let's take it to her. Hey, Cats, with Public Education Week coming up next week, I'm here with Dr. Hodgkiss. How long have you been teaching? Uh, for seven years. Okay, and what are some of your fondest moments? Um, just building relationships with faculty and staff and especially our students. I think our students make me show up every day and to build relationships with those students and to learn about them throughout the years, I think that's super important as an educator. Okay, thank you. Sophie spoke to Logan to see how Oklahoma's opening weekend at the Harper Playhouse was like. Let's and see what he had to say. Hey cats, it's Sophie and I'm here with Logan. I heard you start in Oklahoma held at the Harper Playhouse. Can you tell me a little more about that? Yes, I can. I play Ali Hackham, the peddler man, and it's been a really interesting process, I will say. It's been a fun one, I will say, as well. But um, Oklahoma is definitely a show you're not going to want to miss at the Harbor Playhouse. We have what is basically professional fighting in the show. We have weapon-grade props in the show. There's a kiss scene. There's fighting. It's everything you want to see in a show, if you ask me. And how many more weekends are available to go watch? How many weekends are available to go watch? Well, there's only three weekends left, and I definitely say go get your tickets while they can because opening weekend was almost sold out, and that was just opening, my say. So you're definitely going to want to see the show when it comes out because people have been saying that's easily their favorite show at the Harbor Playhouse. That's really cool. Thank you, and back to the studio. Now let's send it to Callie with Wildcat Media. Thank you, anchors, and welcome back to Wildcat Media. Over the break, Cal and Softball got an amazing team bonding experience while painting canvases at Tipsy Canvas in Five Points. They all had so much fun and would love to do it again. Thank you to Coach Lentz for taking these pictures, and you can check these out on Instagram at Cal and Softball. Now it's all for me. Back to the anchors. Thank you, Callie. Now let's send it to Sophie with the rundown of sports right after this quick break. Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Jess Hofstetter, and I'm here to give a public service announcement that between any time of the day, you are not supposed to be speeding in the parking lot, uh, especially from the time of 3 to 3.30 with uh, seven period leave kids. There is going to be small kids co coming across the bus lane, so make sure you are not speeding. Punishments can include ISS, your driving privilege privileges revoked. It's stupid. Don't be that guy. He's that guy. Thank you, William, and good morning, Wildcats. Our softball team played over spring, spring break against La Joha and Hud Judson. We spoke to Coach Lentz to give us all the information. Well, cast me Coach Lentz. So last week, you had a game against La Jolla and Judson. Can you tell me how that went? Uh, we did good. We played La Jolla on Monday, and we beat them, I believe, 
uh, 13-2, and then we had Judson on Wednesday in San Antonio, and we beat them 15-5. Uh, When's y'all's next game going to be? Um, we will play tomorrow at home against Bishop. JV plays at 5, and Varsity plays at 7. What are y'all doing to prepare for the game? Oh, uh, just kind of making sure we're we're able to, to play together as a team and, and come together. And, and if we can continue to do that, then I think things will, will go in our favor. Thank you for the interview. Good luck with your game. And with that, back to the studio. We caught up with a few of our girls basketball players over all district selections. Let's see what they had to say. Yeah, I'm here with Aubrey, varsity basketball player. So you got academic all district. Can you tell me how you feel about that? I feel good. Although the season didn't end the way we wanted to, the team still had a great season. That's good. That's good. That's all from us now. I'm here with Kylie Butcher, one of the varsity girl basketball players. So what did you get nominated for for district? Um, I got nominated for second team all district. And how do you feel about getting that? Um, I feel pretty good as a freshman. That's a good accomplishment. So, yeah. Okay, thank you. Now back to the studio. We would also like to congratulate Angelina, Tyler, Chloe, and Alexa for their all-district honors. Good job, Cats. We spoke to Jocelyn to see how our girls' soccer played against London. Let's take it to her for all the information. Hey, Cats. I'm here with Jocelyn Yannick, who plays for the Cal Allen Girls Soccer Varsity team. So I heard you had a game on Friday against London. Can you tell me how that went? Yeah, so we unfortunately did lose, but it was a tough game. Um, London came out really strong, and then we also tried to match their energy, but in the end it just kind of came out to a loss. So with this loss, what does it teach you for your last game on Tuesday against Ingleside? It really tells us that we need to start the game strong. We need to go out, hit them hard the very first five minutes, and then just really hone in for the rest of the game and keep it consistent. Well, I'm sorry that you lost. That's all from us. Thank you, and back to the studio. And that's the latest on Callen Sports. Back to you, William. Thank you, Sophie. And now it's time for your weather report with James right after this quick break. Today is part two of us busting people who are not in dress code. And, hey, those aren't the right shorts. Crud, not again. Yeah, see, I have the belt. What about wait, you? wait, hey, hey. You're not in dress code either, Willie. What about him? What, what about, about him? him? Or Billy, or Terry. Or Terry. Or Terry. Terry's not dress code either. Come on. Y'all all have the wrong shorts on. Guys, we need to make sure as we come out throughout the school year that we are dressed appropriately for success and we can come here and have a great day and everyone will be safe with dress code. Please follow the guidelines and make sure that we're all doing the same as we should. Thank you, Akers, and good morning, Wildcats. A dramatic change in the weather has taken place across southern Texas. Mild sunny skies have devolved into a pattern of plenty of rain, plenty of thunderstorms. Your forecast presented by Baytech Robinson Families. Currently, right now, temperatures are in the mid to upper 60s at about 67 degrees. Winds out of the northeast at 20 miles an hour, and a 15% chance of rain. We'll get to that here in a second. And we're going to see plenty of clouds as of right now. The sky should be mostly or completely cloudy. Looking at a Doppler radar scan for this morning, you can see plenty of showers and thunderstorms across the region, especially this one here moving across central Nueces County. That storm is long gone, so do not worry about it or any of the other storms across the region. These storms will continue to move northeastward out of the region up toward Houston and Galveston throughout the day. And again, looking throughout the rest of the day, you can see a 15% chance of rain remains around 2 p.m. with very similar conditions. Then by 6 p.m., that rain chance will go all the way down to zero. Temperatures will reach their peak of about 68 degrees, and winds will be out of the northeast of, at about 15 miles per hour. And come 10 p.m., temperatures will be all the way down to 62. Those clouds will start to clear up, and winds will be out of the north and northeast at 8 miles an hour. And looking into the rest of the school week, Tomorrow, Tuesday, we see another day in the lower 60s, 62 degrees with a 5% chance of rain and wind southeast 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then Wednesday, things warm up a little bit, back up towards 70 degrees. The clouds return to the region and a minimal rain chance of 10% will be in effect with east winds from calm to 10 miles per hour. But then come Thursday, temperatures will be up to 80 degrees with a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms and winds. And they are technically variable 5 to 10 miles per hour. However, they will shift generally from the east to the northwest as the day goes on. And with that, let's take it back to the anchors. Thank you, James. And that's all your announcements for today. But now it's time for your joke of the day. So guys, what did the ocean say to the other ocean? I don't know, William. What? 
Nothing, just waved. <laughs> For all you social people out there, make sure you're following us on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram at Con TV for all the latest updates. Also, subscribe to us here on YouTube to catch all of our latest videos. And as always, stay, stay classy, Cal Allen. Allen.